What's up, everyone? I'm Rod Rodriguez, host of the After Action Review podcast and founder of Clear Camo, an audio production company here in Washington, D.C. So you've been invited to be a guest on a podcast. Congratulations. Now what? Before you think you're going to go ahead and use your iPhone earbuds and just wing it for about an hour, let me give you my top five tips to being a great podcast guest. Tip number one, invest in a microphone. Notice I didn't say buy, I said invest, because that's exactly what a microphone is. It's an investment. Now, I'm not saying you need to go out and buy some $500 microphone and all the stuff that goes with it, but I'm also going to say that your iPhone earbuds are not going to cut it. They'll work in a pinch, but your guest on a podcast because that show believes their audience cares about what you have to say. So let them hear your message loud and clear. I would recommend trying a Blue Yeti microphone. They're about a hundred bucks. They sound pretty good. And when you're done with the podcast, you can use it as a microphone for conference calls on Skype or Zoom. So it's definitely an investment. Speaking of Skype or Zoom, tip number two, make sure you have internet. Unless you're recording on location, chances are you're going to be using Skype, Zoom, FaceTime, or any other type of audio video conference. Don't sit in a bunker under a mile of concrete using dial-up. Make sure you're connected to some decent Wi-Fi so that your voice and your signal are clear. This also avoids that horrible start-stop thing you get with crappy connection. Even if you have to find a coffee shop or something, it's worth it to ensure your interview is crisp and clear. But about those coffee shops. Tip number three find a quiet place. So I once did an interview with a fantastic guest in a Starbucks because it was a location between our two homes. I should have just driven to his town. That damn coffee grinder kept going off every few minutes and it was awful. Find a quiet place for your interview. It doesn't have to be perfect, but again, people are going to have their earbuds in or listening to you in their car. You don't want them hearing construction work outside, the dog crying to get in your room, uh, people shouting out food orders in the background. Take your time to find the right spot to talk. But before you talk, tip number four, prepare your thoughts. Not all interviewers are the same. Some are really good at helping you along a conversation and others will stall if you stall. That's why it's important to have at least an outline of points you want to cover before you jump into your interview. Don't confuse this with the script. No one wants to hear you read your statement like a press release, but an outline will help you keep your thoughts in a logical stream and ensure you hit the important things you want to talk about. It also helps the interviewer if they get stuck. You can help them by opening a new topic, or some avenue of discussion. It's your interview, so make sure you get the most out of it. And how do you get the most out of it? Tip number five, promote your podcast. Promote your episode. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to interview someone, edit, and publish their episode, make social media posts tagging them in it, and they don't share it with their followers. They instead give your post a thumbs up. Look, you or your business is the focus of someone's show. That's publicity and exposure for you, and it didn't cost you a dime. Share your interview. It's your message. Why wouldn't you want every one of your followers across your social media to know what you're putting out? Share links, post about your interview, and let people know your message is out there. You can also ask your interviewer about making one minute, 30 second clips for your episode. Now you have content for your channels that easy and honestly it's just courteous to share links to the show that has your interview that's it now you're all set for your podcast interview remember to avoid dairy products it helps avoid the phlegm don't chew gum and don't worry too much about ums and ahs too much just talk and have fun that's the important thing have fun in your interview it's your hour to shine so do exactly that to learn more about podcasting self-published audiobooks or to ask questions about audio recording Head over to clearcomo.com and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash clearcomo. I'm also the host of the After Action Review Podcast, and we love it. If you liked, listened, subscribed, and shared, and we are at the aarpodcast.com. Folks, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed these five tips to make you a fantastic guest on your podcast.